the 1980s. A fine time for entertaining movies. Like the subject of this video, Short Circuit. John Badham directed this particular classic 80s picture starring Steve Gutenberg. Gutenberg plays a robotics genius who creates some military robots for Nova Laboratories. After getting blasted by a power surge, an experimental military robot designated Number 5 becomes sentient. Imagine becoming sentient with a whole 500 megabytes of RAM. Oh, my heart. Oh, 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 my sides. <laughs> Supposedly, he can store and process vast quantities of data on that. Well, it was the 80s, and a little suspension of disbelief is required here. Same for the robot in Space Camp. Maybe the electrical blast expanded his memory card or something. <laughs> Who knows? At the time, 500 megs of RAM was considered vastly more than anyone would ever need. Anyway, he escapes the lab at Nova and eventually winds up meeting a pacifist and animal lover played by Ali Sheedy. So, here's a question for you. What does a young Ali Sheedy here have in common with a big stack of freshly made hot buttered blueberry pancakes all covered in real Vermont maple syrup? Well, they both look yummy! <laughs> oh, I guess I'm not getting any sponsorships now. Oh. And sure enough, the bad guys at Nova, headed by their bad guy security chief, go on a shooting spree to recapture or destroy the $11 million robot. The chief is played by G.W. Bailey, famous for playing another bad guy in the Police Academy movies, also with Gutenberg. Number five begins learning, first from an encyclopedia, then from television commercials, so we get to see snippets from classic ads for real products from back in the day. But Nova isn't playing patty cake, and is after number five. Growing attached to the cute, innocent robot, Sheedy tries to protect him from Nova and her abusive ex-boyfriend. This winds up in a big chase as Ali and Number 5 try to escape, with the destruction-minded security force of Nova hot on their heels. Seriously, I haven't seen so many sparks and explosions since Space 1999. She's also being chased by the inventor, Gutenberg, and his comedic co-worker, Ben, played by Stephen Fisher. Despite being Caucasian, Fisher was so convincing as a native of India, people there confused him for a real Bollywood star who had similar features. Remember, before you go all Twitter cancel culture, this was a different time. There were few, if any, Indian actors in Hollywood they could have hired, and Fisher did a lot of research, trying to ensure his character wasn't just a stereotype. So while Ben is comedic in some ways, he's not a negative presentation. Anyhow, eventually Ali and Gutenberg team up and form a relationship. The movie has a lot going for it, and some of the chemistry between the characters is really pretty good. 
the movie's an achievement in that they really make the robots believable. And despite being all remote controlled and partially operated by puppeteers, you'd swear they were real. And number five generally avoids the trap of becoming too cute for his own good, morphing into damned annoying territory, like so many other robots in movies on, on TV. Most of the movie takes place in and around a small coastal town in Oregon, which, incidentally, was the same small town where The Goonies and Kindergarten Cop were filmed. The robots were designed by the famous futurist, designer, and illustrator Sid Mead. In fact, he was such a stickler for details that when the director wanted number five to have some kind of eyebrow mechanism to help convey emotion, Mead insisted everything had to have a practical use and make sense and serve a legitimate function. So the eyebrows were shown as sunshades to help protect the fictional robot's optics. That worked for Mead, so they did it. The song most closely identified with this movie is Who's Johnny by El DeBarge. It was a big hit. Originally, they wanted to use Money for Nothing by Dire Straits, but figured they couldn't afford the rights. So they went with the El DeBarge song instead. Just as well, I think it's a better fit. Ali Sheedy cameos in the music video for the song, too. Short Circuit is a fun picture. I give it two and a half paws up. It's a little simple for today's audience, I suppose, but you, you put yourself in the right frame of mind, it's really very entertaining. You can find it on DVD, Blu-ray, and Amazon Prime, so check it out! Well, that's all I've got for you this time. I'll be back soon with another video. In the meantime, you take care of yourself. Okay? And uh, if you like this, give me a like and subscribe and ring the thing and fling the bling and leave a comment and all the stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Johnny, she said, and smiled in her special way. <laughs>